Today we are going to create a spring koala using implied texture. The materials you need are white paper, pencil and eraser, sharpie or black marker, markers, scissors, colored construction paper, and glue or glue stick. The elements of art that we will focus on are line, shape, and texture, specifically implied or simulated texture. That's the way something looks as if it could feel. So in order to give our koala some fur, we're going to use a series of lines and patterns using more zigzag lines to imply our koala has fur and therefore texture. Your eye can is I can draw a spring koala using the elements of art, line, shape, and texture. Begin with your paper up and down portrait style and you're going to need a bowl to trace for your koala's head. So turn your bowl upside down, place it approximately in the center of your paper and trace around that bowl to get a nice big circle. Once you have your circle head, we are going to create two big semi-circle ears on top. Now we're going to create just a little chin creating just a smaller a little curved line at the bottom of that circle for our koala. You can grab your eraser and just erase that little line. At the bottom of your koala to the bottom of the paper for his body. Then we're going to create two arms by creating a curved line that faces each of those outside curved lines as arms. Next, you're going to give it a pear-like oval-shaped nose, a straight line from the middle with two curved lines going up for your koala's mouth, and you can give it any shaped eyes you want. I chose circles and gave it some eyelashes, as well as drew two curved lines inside my ears. Next, you're going to want to give your koala some texture, so trace all of those lines with some zigzag lines. Next, we're going to create some more implied texture on our koala bear, drawing a series of zigzag lines all over his body, face, and ears. As the artist, you can give your koala bear some kind of decoration on its head. I'm going to choose a flower crown using a series of shapes, circles, ovals, and semi-triangles to create a flower piece on his head. Now you could give him a crown, you can draw a bow, you can leave your koala's head plain. That is up to you as the artist. Once you finish giving it some kind of decoration, if you choose, go ahead and grab your black Sharpie or marker and begin tracing 
all of those lines that you drew. Now don't forget, make sure they're sort of zigzag and irregular to make sure that it looks like your koala bear has fur and implied texture. Once you're finished tracing your lines, I like to go back in with my eraser and just clean up some of my pencil marks. I'm going to use my fine tip sharpie to then draw in my fur on his face and his body. Now if you only have a regular sharpie or marker, feel free just to use that. Once you're finished drawing all of your implied texture lines on your koala, go ahead and use your markers or crayons or colored pencils and begin coloring in your koala bear. Now I am going to color his nose black and then use some brightly colored markers for his flower crown. Once you're finished coloring your koala bear, go ahead and grab your pair of scissors and carefully cut out your koala bear. Now I like to go outside the lines that I drew just to make sure that you can see all of those texture lines. It's very hard with your scissors to cut all of those fine little lines. So just cut around it as carefully as you can. Once you have finished cutting out your koala bear, go ahead and choose any color construction paper that you feel would complement it, glue it, and press it nice and firmly on top. You really can't go wrong with any color. I am showing you orange here, but then I also used purple, so feel free to use any color that you like. Well done, amazing artists. Consider subscribing and join me for some more fun art tutorials.